This is my ceiling fan. And as you can see, I have one of these strings missing, similar to this one, that turns on the fan. So when I turn on the light, the fan starts to spin. And because I don't have the little thing over here, like this one does, I can't turn that off. And in this video, I'll show you how to access it and how to fix it. Before starting, turn off your circuit breaker. So as you can see, it's held by a screw here, a screw on this side, and another screw on the back side that I'll need a Phillips head screwdriver or a drill and take those out. Now with the last screw, just be very careful because this thing's probably gonna wanna come down like that. So as you pull this off, go ahead and disconnect these. You can see that there's these two connectors. You just pull them off like this and it's disconnected because you don't want this to fall and break. And here's what it looks like inside. So as you can see, this one is tied right there. And then this one's the one that's missing, and this is the switch. So I'm gonna to try to pull it out and see if, if there's an easy way to replace it. So it's a little hard to see what I'm doing, so I'm gonna show you instead of recording. Basically, I'm holding this tip right here and unscrewing this tip with pliers this way. As you can see, it can turn. See, it turns. Um, and that's how I'm gonna remove it. Removed, and basically you can see that this was threaded in there. And there's also so this little washer in between on the inside. Next, you will need to buy the appropriate switch. There are three options. One is strictly for the light. Then there's a three-way switch. And then the one that I need is a dual capacitor four position switch. So I ended up buying that one. I'll have the links to all the three options in the description below and in the comments. You can see in the picture that I have four wires Switch diagram also has four wires. That helped me determine that the proper switch is used. In addition to the switch, I also bought extra chain and these two matching tips so that way they match. So here's what the switch looks like. As you can see, I have L2, number one right here, and number three. Now I just gotta wire it the same way to the fan. So as you can see, Here's my numbers as well. I got one, two, three, and L1. L1 is right here, already disconnected. So I'm gonna take this switch and plug in L1 first, like that. Plugs into the side right here. Then, let's see, oh, so this is two. So we unplug two, plug two right here, like that. Then three, now oh, it's hard to get out, hold on. Ah. Here's what the switch wiring looks like. As you can see, you can push in the wire, but when you try to pull it back, it clamps it so it's harder to pull it out. That's why it was easier to just break the sensor and get the wires out, or you can also cut the wires too. So this one was L3, I mean number three, not L3. And then the L. And then one. All right, that's it. So I plugged it all in. So here's what it looks like. You can see the different colors and wires that got plugged in into one, two, three, and L. And you just push them in. So it was very simple, very easy to install. Now the main thing is I gotta remove this piece because it doesn't match to what I had here before. And then take this brass piece that I had and we're gonna put it on here. It just screws right on. And then put the chain through the hole like this. And then this fitting that I had, this plastic fitting, put the chain through it. And now we're gonna try to thread that into the switch. Oh, like that. And there's how it looks like. It's right there. It's kind of hard to see it, but. Then we're gonna take and plug these wires back in. White to white, and then I had blue to black. That's how mine was set up like this, these two connectors. And then we'll tuck this back in and try to tuck it all back in. Now in mine, I have a little notch right here. So you gotta be careful and position that properly. Put one here. 
like that. Finally, I'm gonna attach the new chain that I bought right here. Then see how far down I want it. I'm gonna cut it right here. Just use regular scissors like that. And then I also bought one of these that I'm gonna attach to complete it. Here we go. And I did the same thing on the second one so that now they're matching. Then turn on your circuit breaker and let's test it out. So pull on this one. So that one does the light and this one does the fan. And it's got three different speeds. Now it's back off. And check out how I installed these lights next right here.